final superbike race of the day then. Started off with a great start from pole position for Tommy Brywell. Absolutely superb off the line on the Oxford product number 46 Ducati. And everyone else trying to sort themselves out as we got through turn one. Now onto the paintwork then for one of the factory Ducatis. But it was this man absolutely leading away at the front. Through came Danny Bucket looking keen as well. Again, up over Druids. Brooks reasserting himself on Bucken. 95, Mackenzie hanging in there as well. But it was O'Halloran miles and miles behind. We couldn't work out what was happening to Jason O'Halloran. The man that did lead the championship coming into this showdown series of nine races. Race three then, into Deers Lee. Mackenzie looking for a way by. Here comes Lee Bob Jackson looking again very, very loose on that Kawasaki, giving it absolutely everything. Then came down just a few spits of rain and off has gone the 22 of Jason O'Halloran. Yet again, disaster. O'Halloran out, it said, on Bridewell's pit board, but eight seconds was his lead at one point. Brooks held on to second place from Lee Bob Jackson and a little bit of a nudge going Idden's way. A bit of dirt tracking, he's pretty good at that and made it work for him. Came back in to finish, I think, down in 11th place in the end, Idden. So as the rain got on the kerbs, it was getting tricky. Brooks was sideways on. Lee Bob Jackson wasn't shy up the inside. Was he going to be able to hold it down? Of course he wasn't at that pace. Went out wide at Shell and Brooks regained the lead, but all the time, or should I say, regained second place. Mackenzie, though, on the inside of Lee Bob Jackson. They were toughing it out all the way round here in the end. It was to end in tears. And that, unfortunately, was about to come Lee Bob's way. So Mackenzie and Jackson, neither giving way. One out on the dirt and the other one getting a three second penalty. So Mackenzie ending up back down in fifth place. Lee Bob not happy. This man absolutely ecstatic. It, it was Bridewell, the winner of round three.